Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with my take on the A to Z Christmas challenge. This is a challenge hosted by Rach over at Rach and Bella Crafts and Rose over at Journals in Time both phenomenal creators. There is going to be a video every day for the month of November. I believe it actually starts on October 31, 31st. So um, I hope that you'll check out all of the creators. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I'm kind of added a little bit late into the game. So if there is a list provided to me of all of the channels, I will be sure to uh, link those in the video description so you guys can just click there and just head on over. So I want you to be able to see all of the beauty that is going to be created in the month. So this is my first time uh, collaborating in, in the, the A to Z Christmas challenge. Um, so today, and my the letter I got was the letter G. So um, the ideas for that were, were voluminous. I mean, there was um, gold and glassine and uh, what else was there? I think I threw away my list because I picked my prompts. So mine is going to be gift, um, G for gift, and then G for glassine bags or glassine paper. So I'm going to be showing you how I uh, print on glassine paper and and bags. So my printer is not available to move over into camera, but I will tell you how I did it because I already did some samples so I can show you how I put it on the paper and then every printer is going to be a little bit different. So I don't want to be too stringent, stringent about that because it depends on if you have a front loading printer, it depends on how your paper feeds in, how you will do this. But I will give you my tips. I love printing on specialty paper. I love printing on tissue paper, vellum, rice paper, uh, and glassine paper. So that's what we're going to do today. So here is the little uh, the little advert. So if you're going to be seeing this all over YouTube. It's going to be fantastic fun. So I'm, I'm, I am doing this early so if there's changes, I'll be sure to put that in the video description or edit it in my video um, as a voiceover or a text update. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. So these are some of the supplies that I'm gonna be using. I thought we'd introduce some gold since gold is one of my favorite things. So we've got some little gold bows. I've got some red uh, tool. I've got some washi tape. I'm not sure about the washi tape, but I got, thought I'd get it out. And then I would just uh, pull a quote from this uh, Christmas um, stickers thing from Tim Holtz. Uh, and then the bags that I'll be using, um, I've got a, a larger one and a smaller one. This, oh, actually, is this glassine? Yeah, it is. Uh, this one's four inches wide and seven inches high, and that's all the way to the scalloped uh, cut edge. This one is five and nine sixteenths. I did that wrong. Nine sixteenths to uh, by five and nine sixteenths by seven and fifteen sixteenths. In case you're looking for those, I got them off of Amazon. I will. I believe I got them on Amazon. If I did, I will link them. So um, I'm going to just set these aside. We'll talk about those in a second. The glassine paper that I have is this. It's called. Uh, Bright Creations 100 pack glassine paper. I will link that in the um, in the supply list. I did get this on Amazon, so I just wanted to show you what that looks like. And I've got I did some practicing um, printing on the glassine paper. So I don't know if you guys can see. It's not as transparent as like vellum is, but just to show you what you can see. Well, that's not great at all. Uh, I guess this is a better example. So you can see the red dots through it. So again, it's not as transparent as other um, paper, but it's going to be great for today's project. So I did do a couple of samples there. And then um, I've got, these are my projects. And so let me show you first how I did this. So I'm gonna set this aside. This is also printed, printed on the glassing paper. I'm gonna be using that as a piece on the uh, envelope or the pocket and so yeah I'm all turned around here let me get this one out of the way too that was for the red one and then this one is just oh we're gonna make some tags it's gonna be fantastic so let me just show you what I did so what I do is I take a piece of glassing or piece of copy paper 
and I just took, and I'm just going to use these just because I already wrote on them, but basically what I did is I just used some, whoops, Scotch Create glue stick, and I'm just gluing, not even really heavily, I just am turning the glassine back over so the opening is on the other side, and you do have to kind of watch for that fold, as I discovered, so maybe go up instead of down, and it doesn't take a lot. And then I basically just took this, and the most important thing was to um, put it straight on the paper so that, you know, depending on what image you're trying to get on here, you want to make that, make sure that's straight. So there we go. <clears throat> so that's all I did. And then what my printer um, is a top loading printer, so I just put my paper in like this with this facing up and I just feed it through and it prints on this side. So let me show you an example of that. I'm not gonna show you this one because I, I just showed you it's the same process, just different, different bag there. So this is already printed, so my bag is already on here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So now we're gonna go ahead and pull it off. Hopefully it's going to come off okay. Um, it's, been, it's been a little while since I printed it, so I'm hoping that I don't bump into a problem here with a glue setting. It should be all right though. Ah. I would probably advise that you take it off right away. I did this first and then I did a bunch of other prep. So you can see it is coming off just fine. Just going slow and there we have our glassine bag. And then I will be using these scraps because I'm gonna make a cluster as the finale for the video. So that is our glassine bag. And um, you know you can see my hand in it. Again, it's not super transparent, but it, it has the crinkle, the crinkle that we love. So that is that one. And then my, uh, and, uh, and my other one is uh, right here. So let's go ahead and pull this one off as well. If I can find it. Goodness gracious, here it is. This is the small one, so you can see that it's on there. So I'm just gonna pull that off as well. And again, I'd advise you to pull these off um, right away because this is pretty set. It's not gonna affect anything. Um, I did forget to get any paper to put on the back of these though. I'm gonna have to do that. Um, Although a pocket would often be put on down on the paper, I mean on the journal page, so not too worried about it. Oh goodness, this is getting all messed up. <laughs> oh my goodness, it looks like a used bag now, doesn't it? The more wrinkles the better in my opinion though. I'm just going to straighten that edge out so I can continue to pull this. Um, again, just pull it off right away. We wouldn't, I wouldn't have had this problem, but it's all right. It didn't tear the pocket, which is what, or the envelope, which is, it's not an envelope. It is a glassine bag. So there are our two glassine bags. Aren't those just wonderful? So that's what we're going to do first. So, um, but again, I do put some copy paper behind. I do about five or six sheets. This is a 65 pound paper. I've done it with a 20 pound too. You just want to have something, at least in my printer, I have to have something behind the specialty paper. Otherwise my printer will not pull it through. So that's just a little tip there. So let's get going. Let's go ahead and figure out what we want to do with this. So. Isn't that just wonderful? Oh, love it. So let me see if I do have some paper here. I should have printed more of the background papers. So let me just grab my stack over here of the ones that I selected. Um, oh, I do have some. So I've got the red. I've got one of the red. I've got one of, of that same paper, which I don't necessarily want to use again. So let's see. Let's see what we've got here. And then we've got a green one. I love the background papers. I will tell you that I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the Christmas 
themed stuff so I really appreciated having some things in this kit that really touched my heart um, because I think that's really important when you're creating is if I'm creating with with images that I love and concepts that I love I'm going to be way more engaged and successful at what I'm doing so um, that's just a little tip there so let's just set that aside for now I just wanted to make sure I had those out and ready so um, I thought maybe we would put this bigger image on the um, the larger glassine bag, but I don't obviously want it to be just on that, right? Because that's really boring and plain. So let's see what it would look like on this. Oh, I like that. So let's go ahead and tear this down. I'm going to reach up and grab my tear ruler really quick. I thought I was prepared completely. <laughs> it's okay. So I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to set that aside for a second and I'm going to go ahead and tear this so that we just have some rough edges. I don't want it to be too straight. I do print on both sides of my digitals so that's why um, there is coffee dyed paper on the other side. Oh, in addition, the A to Z uh, challenge is um, focus is back to the basics of junk journaling. So every person that's creating in the collaboration will be doing it with that in mind. So kind of getting back to the roots of, of what we do and how we, what kinds of ephemera we're creating for our journals. So I feel like I want this to be rougher. So I am going to go ahead and tear, rough tear this edge. Okay, the inking is done pretty much. I did, um, and the other thing, I don't know if I said it already, this is gold, um, kind of a gold, gold snowflake. So that also goes with my G for gold and gift. And I, uh, I know that we all come from different belief systems. My belief system is that um, for me, Christmas and the Christmas season is all about the birth of Jesus. So I was really attracted to the pages in the kit that were um, that were focused on that. I'm going to show you one here really quick. Sorry to get off off um, my project here, but I just want to show you because these are absolutely stunning. Like, look at these stained glass window ones. I will probably be making some of those just for my own journals as we go forward. But we've got this one that's got the Away in the Manger. It's got a snow scene. It's got the nativity. Absolutely gorgeous. We've got this little bit here that's got the nativity as well. So, um, yeah, so really beautiful and really, really um, right up my alley. So, <clears throat> but uh, obviously respecting you know that we all have different belief systems so whatever is um, that's about for you is what is important right especially when we're creating so there we go so that is going to be beautiful I love it I wasn't sure about how this red would go on there I am going to use my Fabri-Tac because I'm not sure exactly um, how this is going to um, hold or adhere I normally use my white glue when I am working with vellum and such, but um, the glassine I haven't worked with a lot, so um, so yeah, it's a, a little bit of a different beast. So we're just going to place that down, trying to get it center in the middle of that. Uh, I keep calling it an envelope. It's a bag. <laughs> it's clearly a bag. <laughs> There we go. So I feel like I want something underneath this because this is just such a precious image. But I also don't want to overdo it. Maybe I'll put some glue on it, or glue, some gold on this. I think I will. Let me just squirt some of this. This is my um, golden fluid acrylic in iridescent gold fine, even though it's you can't see it. My most one of my most loved projects products. 
oh, that was a lot, way too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use my finger and just put some gilding around this, like so. This uh, this paint goes a long way. I pay about uh, six or seven dollars for that bottle, uh, but it lasts a really long time. So if you can muster that, I would uh, really highly recommend it. So what this means though is we're gonna have a little bit of a break in this project, this piece, because we need to let this um, paint dry before we move on. And so I'm gonna go ahead and set these pieces aside and we will move on to the other one. So that is that, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So we're gonna set that up there and get a baby wipe. So it's all situated here. I don't like the ring light, <laughs> but it's the weather is just so weird here right now that it's I have to I have to have it. So let's just go ahead and set that aside as well. And I'm going to pull over. Um, let's go ahead and work on this one. So this was just going to be some simple um, tags that are going to be they're going to have the, a vellum overlay. So I think I'll do two tags with the vellum overlay. So I'm gonna grab my small trimmer here. And I'm hoping I don't put my hand in that gold paint. I should have put it someplace else. And let's see, let's get this side. I'm gonna just trim this down to size, make my tag at sizes, and then I will be back with you. have one vellum piece. I'm debating on this one because I'm going to lose some of it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and try it anyway and see if I can um, make this work. So I'm going to try to not cut off the words. Oh, this ring light drives me crazy. I'm turning it off. I'd rather have the shadows. I keep saying that, but I keep trying. <laughs> okay, so these tags are gonna be measuring four inches wide. So my vel or my um, glassine paper is going to be the same dimensions as the tag. So uh, let's see, I'm just cutting off all the white space and I don't know if you guys saw it, but I did uh, with that gold paint on my table, I did put my paper through it. So I had to wipe it up. Oh, it happens every time. So usually when your gut says, move that, it's a good idea to move it. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I gotta cut off my, my tops of these as well. Should be able to just do this and then figure out what uh, height we want these to be. Let's see. Can I get them up both okay? Oh, that one needs a little bit off. It is okay, I am not a measurer guys have been watching me you probably know that so I think I'm gonna go um, this only goes six inches so I'm gonna estimate what six and a half is like so um, and I'm just gonna use this other one as my guide for, for the, the bottom one like so alrighty we can get this stuff out of the way So what we're going to do, I didn't cut this one down all the way though, so <laughs> I am going to use this as my guide and just use my scissors to cut that top off. That was silly and I didn't print on the back of this. So probably off camera I will just, um, I will add some coffee dyed paper to the back, but I love the subtle dots that are behind that. So, um, so again, um, this is going to be I'm gonna cut it into a tag shape. Let's do that right now, um, like so. And I'm just gonna use that corner and go to the other side. 
like so. Okay. I think I'll put an eyelet in these because that will hold that glassine paper together with the other. Uh, it do have to be kind of careful because this is going to be, I mean, it's it's durable. It's not it's not really fragile or weak, but it is definitely needs a little bit of extra uh, care. So I'm going to cut this off the bottom like so and just get this one trimmed up as well. Okay, now let's go ahead and cut these corners. Actually, I think I'd like to just use what I already cut over here and just have them be the same. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one on there. It doesn't have to be precise. Clearly that was not because I was holding my, my hand at a really awkward angle. But again, I don't, um, I'm not interested in perfection, so... Oh goodness, come on, Renee. <laughs> Fingers aren't working. I'm going to lose part of my poinsettia. That, that's okay as well. There we go. Not a problem. Okay, so there we've got our tags. So we're going to go ahead and ink these up. I will be right back with you. Okay, so those are done. So again, this is not going to be glued down. It's only going to be held on with a an eyelet, so I'm gonna grab a couple of small um, bronze colored eyelets here, and we're gonna get the little handheld um, crocodile thingy. So let's see, I'm gonna just go ahead and line this up, and my small one is at the top, so that's the one I primarily use, so I'm just gonna, um, I'm just, um, trying to center it in the middle there, as you know. There we go. Punch through okay. I was wondering how that would actually work. So there we go. Get that eyelet in. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and set that eyelet, which I'm already set for the smaller, the smaller eyelet. So let me give that a squeeze. Awesome. Perfect. So then basically what you have here is you just have this flips up and it's going to move a little bit, but it's not going to be um, terrible. And I love how this tone is matching this tone. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, love it. And I loved the non-traditional colors here. I'm not a big fan of the straight up um, red and green Christmas colors when I'm creating. Sorry, that is my phone. It seems like every time... Uh, every time I do a video and I can't silence it so it's usually a politician so my apologies so anyway guys sorry about that that was the phone unfortunately the whole internet setup is in my studio so I don't have the luxury of just kind of getting that out of here so there we go. There is our eyelet. So we've got that in that. I feel like I want to do something. I pulled this out, but I really am not feeling the red. Um, it's just, it's not going to go with what's underneath. The green might, might work okay on this one. Let's see. Oh yeah, this might work, except I don't want to lose any of, um, you know what? I just don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to use it. Um, yeah, this is quite different for me. So let me find some seam binding here. Don't know if I have anything in red, but we're going to certainly look. If not, I have white. I also have this gold since my um, one of my prompts I was trying to bring in is gold. I wonder if I can get this through there. Let's try it. <clears throat> it's kind of strange because it's really, really hairy. Look at that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to look at it. Just separates. Um, <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Let's try it. 
I'm not a quitter, so we're going to try to feed this through here without busting it, hopefully. Ah, I don't know. I do have other gold, though. Give me just a quick second, like, guys, and let me see if I can find another gold. I don't know what this would do if I just, yeah, see how it separates? Look at that. It's really quite beautiful, though. It gives me an idea. It gives me an idea. I might use that on my cluster when I get there. So, but while I was looking, I got, I did find this, so we might use that for our um, tag thing. But look what I found. I found the gold leaf in my drawer. So, it just all tangled up with something else here. Do we want to put some of this on here? Mm-hmm. I think so. Let's do it. I'm kind of hopping around, aren't I? <clears throat> oh, I love that. I'm going to lose some of my words, but I don't mind. So I'm going to just go ahead and lay that down. And I'm going to use my white glue just because I need that, that precision. And I'm just kind of using this as my guide for how much of this I need. Okay, let's turn that over. Normally this stuff doesn't lay as flat as this is laying. I'm really surprised. So I'm gonna grab that and I'm just gonna put this on here. There we go. I'll use my paper towel to kind of dab off that glue. Let me reach for my cart again as I moved it to get to the ribbon. There we go. So that's all going to dry clear, so I don't really uh, fret about that oozing glue, but I really, really love that. And I'm just going to cut off this end, and I'm going to cut off this top. I'm going to let that, that one hang out there, just going to cut off this, this one here. There we go. Oh, I love that. Look at that, guys. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. I'm not sure if it will, but again, we can try. I'm just knocking everything over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to triple it. So I folded it in half, and I'm going to fold it again, like so. And then I'm going to try to feed this in to my hole. Maybe. It's hard when the eyelets are, are the smaller ones too, though. And then my nails don't help me whatsoever in this endeavor. There we go. Yes. That worked beautifully. Oh, I love that. It's simple and beautiful. There we go. Good change. So there is our tag. So I'm not going to put a sentiment on here right now. I might change my mind and do that um, in a little bit. But for now, we're going to leave that be. And again, I will... Um, oh, that one's got coffee dyed paper. The other one I must have printed as an afterthought. So, and this one... Um, let's see, what do we want to do with this one? Um, I'm going to come back to this one. I might add something more to the top. It's a little bit plain up here, but I need to think on that in a second. So let's go back to this. Hopefully it is um, mostly dry. Seems to be okay. So I'm gonna bring that glassine bag over back over here. And it is a little bit warped just because of that, that wet glue, but you can just kind of bend it back down. And then we're gonna go ahead and adhere, adhere this. So I'm gonna use my white glue because I definitely don't want any glue showing through on this. So I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to use my finger to kind of spread it out as well. There we go. Uh-oh. The paint is not dry. <laughs> Look at that. We've got some on the mat. I'm trying to get a hold of this. Ah! That was... 
not good. Grab something here. Okay, we're just gonna roll with it though, right? So I'm just gonna put that down. I'm trying not to touch the edges where that, that paint is. Just gonna try to gently get that in place. So I'm just gonna use this paper towel and I am gonna have to pat, so hopefully it's not gonna, it might be only high spots that are, that are, um, that have paint that's still a little bit damp, so not worried about it. There we go, that is okay. I should have put some, some gold around, um, around the edges here too. I might still do that because I've got, see how it's lifting? Um, oh, that's not straight. I think we're stuck with it though. It's okay. I'm gonna get the, the paint out. This time I'm gonna put it over here where I can't put anything in it. <laughs> and I'm gonna go back around this, this um, frame bit, hopefully. Just here and there, doesn't have to be everywhere. Oh, that was terrible. Boy, I am just <sighs> oh for two here. <laughs> just gonna wipe that off. Oh yeah, so see it's glassine, so it will not be um, a problem. So I'm just gonna focus on some of these that I can pull away here. Mm hmm Yep, yep. There we go. Where there's a will, there's a way, right? Isn't that what they say? I don't need it to be everywhere. I just want that. I love the gold. I just love using it in ephemera in my junk journals. And especially around images because it just adds a really, um, I don't know what look. It's just, to me, it's really regal. And given the 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 image here and what it represents for me as a as a person i love that gold because to me it means it means richness and and glory and those kinds of things so we did get some gold on our pocket on our pocket there and i don't want to mess with it too much because i don't know how that's going to affect the glassine bag so that is our our um bag so let me look in the stickers here and see if there's anything that um you know actually i'm gonna pull some words here and see if there's something better I, the tim holtz ones are really really small and i think i have some in my in my um bin here so just random random things here so let's see manger there we go love it so let's go ahead and ink that up. We will be done shortly, you guys. Okay, so I think I want something. Ooh, this, 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 this. Look at that. Look at how that separates. Isn't that just amazing? I love it. So I think I'll put that up there. Yes, it almost looks like hay, doesn't it? I love that. I'm gonna put some Fabri-Tac on here. Just kind of on this corner. Place that back down. See if I can find my paper towel again. Give that a press. Mm, look at that. Oh, so pretty. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the sentiment on as well. I'm gonna use my fabric tac There we go manger oh i love that and there is our glassine bag so in my journal i would be gluing this down so i'm not even going to put anything on the back so um, that's totally up to you if you wanted it to be uh you know if you were going to attach this in a journal and fold it in half then obviously you would cover both sides i'm going to set that aside we have one more thing here and then we'll be done we've got this one and uh, we have this image. So, oh, I love that too. Um, trying to think about what I would like to put underneath it. I almost feel like I want a piece of this glassine paper. That's the other one, kind of going back and forth between those two designs. So let's do this real quick. I'm gonna get this ready and I'll be right back with you.
just about done with the inking. I did want to mention that I realized that I'm working with glassine bags. I did not make anything for the inside of them. I will do that off camera and you'll be able to see that in the photos at the end of the video. So this one, um, I'm thinking about maybe running this along the bottom of this. I think so. I'm use a little bit of Fabri-Tac here. Additionally, guys, I can't speak to how your printer prints in terms of uh, bleeding and smudging. I don't have any problem with it with my printer. So you do want to keep that in mind when you're printing on other kinds of specialty paper because it can be problematic uh, in terms of if, you know, trying to apply glue or any kind of other wet medium, you might have some issues. So just uh, FYI. Okay, boop, boop, boop. Ah, hope I didn't just cut that open. Okay, love it. Love it, love it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and glue these down. Actually, now that I've done that, I almost wanna grab another piece of, maybe I've got some extra script over here that I could use as part of the cluster. The Not the cluster, but the um, this layering that I have going on here. Hold on. I'm just gonna use this. If you guys have watched my channel, you know that clusters are my one of my favorite things to do. So <laughs> I have a hard time not layering and making clusters. So I'm just gonna ink that up. Okay. Mm-hmm, love it. Okay, we're going to use our white glue again. got here. I'm just going to layer this last bit here. And oh, I just love I love the layers. I love the layers. Look at that. Gorgeous. So there is our other glassy <laughs> stuck other glassine bag. This is the smaller one. So let's find one more word here. And again, I am just um, tapping into my just my general bin of of um, sentiments and such. That's, I don't want sleigh bells away. Oh, that was the other part of that, away in the manger. <laughs> we wish you, it's all partial. It must be pieces that are supposed to go together. I don't want candy canes. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, reflect. That's what I want reflect right here. Looks like I had tr tried to use this for something else and changed my mind. So I'm going to take this other piece and see if I can do the same. It might not be big enough. Is it big enough? Yeah. So I'm just pulling that away from itself a little bit. And I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it up here in this upper corner. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I will do my little cluster off camera and show it to you in the photos at the end of the video. So again, this is the A to Z, <laughs> A to Z Christmas challenge. So I hope that you guys will um, check out all the creators in the collaboration. And again, if I am provided with the list of all the YouTube video, all the YouTube channels that are participating, I will insert that in the de description below so that you guys can check them out. So here are our projects. We've got one, two, three, and four items. So thank you guys so much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.